Good morning, folks. I'd still classify the last 24 hours as a calm day on our star, but to be sure, things are heating up. We may not have Earth-directed eruptions, but we do have incoming sunspots, coronal holes, solar wind disruptions, and plasma filaments, this one towering over the eastern limb. Let's start with the sunspots. We now have two developing active regions on the southeastern limb, whereas that quadrant and indeed the entire Earth-facing disk was nearly in an all-quiet event just two days ago. The one on the left crested the limb, but the lead grouping was born over the last 24 hours, and that means it might be feisty. It's nothing to write home about, but there was definitely a slight flaring uptick as these spots began developing. These sunspots may not have tremendous size, but that might change by tonight, and I'm already seeing the raw materials for magnetic interaction if you catch my drift. The solar wind is calm, awaiting further disruption or something other than ambient quiet. Stability and quiet conditions are settling into Earth's magnetic shield as well. One coronal hole is exiting, along with the unusual location earthquake uptick. I spy the next dark patches incoming from the left. It's a trans-equatorial southern negative polar opening whose curving IMF is about to begin interacting with Earth. We saw our third gamma burst in four days, and the second near Canis Major in the last two. Top updates today include the latest solar polar fields update. We are in polar recovery on our way to polar maximum, and you can visualize that as the second to last chart over at chart space weather news news as the raw data is. Top articles of the day are out of NASA, one about an EM quake signal challenge for advanced math students, and the other details the hazy atmosphere and ice flows on Pluto. Today, if you are new here, get used to finding all your sources below the video. Scroll down, click away. Over at suspiciousobservers.org, it is Saturday, so our podcast will air in a few hours. We are also celebrating the website's birthday. Membership is only 4 bucks a month or $30 for the entire year, but this last week of July only, the price is back down to $3 a month or $20 for a whole year. A quick reminder, if you already have an account, you can't upgrade until it expires, and if it expires after this week, you'll either need to use a different email clear the account yourself or ask me to clear it for you. I cannot lock in your account or do anything else like that. This is the tropical identification and track predictions with my cursor followed by the most important alerts in our top viewer locations, current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.